You want real danger? How about my duel with the foul Rainbowzilla? As the heroes descended into the floral caverns, Flint Cragley entertained them all. Boss, boss, Cragnon hear that story 255 times, brah. You making my crag hurt. Brah, if you count the time we were tied up, or we weren't tied up, then it 256 times. Mario and Co. glanced at the weary faces of Flint's crew as they delved deeper. But a light grew. Was it a ray of hope from the pure heart or an evil illusion? Find out this time in Chapter 5-4, The Menace of King Crocus. <laughs> Craggly ho! We plodded on, traipsing over all manner of beasts that gnashed fangs at us. But then, no! A sight too horrible to believe appeared before our eyes. Uh, boss. Nothing happened yet, brah. I know that, you cretin. The sight too horrible to believe is still up ahead. We're going to look for it now. Come on, move. Pilgrim. <laughs> what? Wait up, brah. Boss, no! Monzo not want to get left behind, brah! <laughs> okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm really glad that we're still traveling with them. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time, uh, we got Kudge the episode before last. Last time, we, uh, we saved Flint Cragley, the craggy crag trotter of crag. This time, we're going through the floral caverns, stomping on some, uh, some plant life here. Ow. And getting stomped on by plant life. Two. Progress through the cave, so let's go. Um, there's a tiny pipe there, which I feel like I feel like we've seen those tiny pipes enough that it's about time that we got their power. Okay, die. Uh, ooh. no, you can you can burn, burn. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Hoi, oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay, let's go through this oddly. Oddly, I want to say, I didn't want to say scientific door, but it's an oddly high-tech door for a cave with plants in it when there are, like, cavemen that we're dealing with. So, I'm feeling some, uh, some very alien feels here. Maybe these plants are evolved, or I guess devolved form of Pikmin? <laughs> I guess? And, no, they're, oh yeah, that's right, I, I said that they were like Mushroom Pikmin, because they're infecting things. Also, that looks like an enemy. So, Mushroom Pikmin have, have infected the world. Actually, that'd be a really, ooh, hello. That'd be a really cool plot point of a, of a Pikmin game. A, uh, if the, the virus or the, the mushroom, I guess it's Cordyceps? Yeah, co that's pretty much the, uh, the modern equivalent of it. If, like, Cordyceps type... Per, uh, mushroom Pikmin virus stuff started infecting Pikmin. That'd be a really cool, um, cool antagonist. Like, I mean, major antagonist. Sort of like how the the Plasm Wraith is the main antagonist of Pikmin 3. Uh, we go through there. You know, I feel like they're pointing our way. They showed us that little cutscene because we're supposed to go here. So, let's go through this door. And read the sign. Processing center. So this is where the magic happens. This is where people are turned in. Oh, I, I could have made a. Uh, I almost made a political joke there. <laughs> uh, should I? You know what? Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. I'll make the joke. I'll make the joke. <laughs> Processing center. This is where people are turned into Democrats. Okay, okay, I, I'm done. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> ah, it's terrible. I'm sorry. I'm I'm really I I really am. <laughs> that <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Also, pal pills. <laughs> Look, literally anything else. Let's pay attention to it. Burn. All right. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't, normally don't like pal pills, but. Let's make this a challenge. Let's see how, how far I can get through this uh this level with with as many pal pills as possible. Okay, there's a lock there. There's also a can't tell if that's a door or a switch. Also, my little Bowser buddy's trying to find out. He's like grabbing the thing. 
Um, you know what? Let's go to Mario and flip. Nothing? Really? Uh, uh, okay. Oh! Oh, hello. Hello, ladder. Hello, ladder that wasn't there. Let's jump down. Okay. So we have a... Whoa! No, 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 no! No, I don't want to kill you guys. They gave us... Also, they gave us these pal pills on purpose. Like, they knew that they were going to be a problem. Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to weigh down the switch. I'm too light. Uh, Bowser? Um... And Thudley? Will that work? No, there we go. No, that won't work. Uh, let's see, what did we do before? Did we use a bomb? It involved throw last time we saw this kind of switch before, right? Let's try throw. And hopefully... Actually, you know what? You know what? As insurance, get over here. Get over here, Bowsers. You know who you are. Let's turn around. Oh, there we go. Boy. That works. Okay, now I don't have to deal with as many. Hopefully they won't come off screen because I believe if the uh, the pal pill buddies go off screen they despawn. So let's try and avoid that. All right, I have this guy that worked. Let's throw him over there. N there, it, there's no need for this to end in violence. Uh, let's go through this pipe. Pal pills, will they come with me? They will. Got it. Man, I'm feeling. I'm getting some. Uh, some, let's see, I want carry, yeah, I want carry. I'm getting some Wind Waker vibes here. Not because of the level, but because the last time I was trying to ferry buddies through, uh, through the, 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 the cosmos, I guess, I was, uh, they were morphs, and we, and Nova and I named them all, and it was really fun. Okay, I'm flipped. I'm flipped. Come here, buddies. Uh, well, at least it didn't send me. Oh, wow. Up and down is flipped, too. Okay, that's new. At least I wasn't sent back to Flopside. But yeah, uh, Nova and I. Oh, boy. Boy. No, 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 no. Let's jump up here. Try to save our pal pills. I have no clue when this is going to uh, wear off. So let's just try to. Oh, goodness. And I went through the door. Good, good. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, hey, my, my things went back. My controls. Now, as I was saying, the last time I was ferrying little buddies through there, they were morphs because Nova and I were trying to go and see how far we could bring them. They're, if you don't know what morphs are, they're these little enemies, okay, that stick to you, and uh, Nova and I named them, and it was really it was really something special. Also, oh, look, it's Merle. Okay, so... Is that the thing that I bought? The blessing that I bought in, um... In Flipside? I don't remember. Um, can I get... The item! Got it! I got it. I lost a, I lost a buddy to, uh, to get this item, but... It rattles everything on the ground and ceiling. So that might be useful. I lost another one. Okay, how many do we have left? We have two here, but total it's can't really see we have three left okay that's that's manageable and I suppose the more the, or the fewer we have the easier it is to you know corral them and you know what? I don't even care about that enemy because <laughs> apparently he did though <laughs> apparently he did ah uh, poor poor guy also this is really getting me in the mood for uh, Pikmin as well because Pikmin 2 is coming up soon that's a that's new. That's a new item. A dangerous poison shroom. I assume that's an ingredient, because I know that there are certain ingredients that we can get. Also, this is a maze. Um, like, all these pipes and stuff are very maze-like. Alright, uh... Left is the best. I can't really rhyme that. Let's go through here. That's not it. We've been there before, I think. It's actually pretty much impossible to tell because all these rooms, much like the the race that made them, look alike. Man, I'm I'm really on a roll with these jokes. First, I'm making <laughs> political jokes, and now I'm making race jokes. I am I am a clean YouTuber, guys. <gasps> oh, oh, hello. Definitely a clean YouTuber. Pow block number two. 
cool. Uh, switched up back to Bowser. Bowser's really just the best in every such. Do you see that? Do you see that? Fleep. Get in here. It didn't do anything, really? Like, it's glowing. It's obviously... It's obviously something. Don't pretend that it isn't, game. Like, those those Vs, those low-resolution Vs and dots and triangles, they mean something. Okay, um, I'm gonna try this door. If it's a room I recognize... Oh, this is... Wait, 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 wait. We haven't been to that room before, I don't think. I don't remember that skull. Unless we have. Jump over you. Go through this pipe. What is this? Where does this bring us? It brings us to this. I remember this. Okay. Well, let's go back because I, I do want to try something. There's a door that I know I know of that we haven't gone in yet. So let's jump over them. Avoid their death. Whew. And then go through, go up through this pipe because we've been through the right and left doors of this room. We've gone through the pipe, but we have not gone to the left door. So let's try it and be extremely disappointed when it does not lead us to anything good. It did... Exactly. How do I know? Well, let's go up again, actually. Seriously, this is the most confusing maze ever. I'm not actually... Oh, okay. I'm not actually sure if this, this is worthwhile, but it's the only lead we've found thus far, and we haven't gotten anything out of it. So, it has to be good somehow? Um... Okay, let's let's try this. Let's go in every down option. No, that doesn't work because doors and pipes both lead down. Lead down. Uh, let's just go right. Let's take the right path every single every single time, and see where that brings us. Okay, so we now have only one option left here. We've gone to this room before. We have gone through the pipe. Now we're at a right option, and there are blocks here, which makes me think. If I flip blocks are very odd. There's some gems in the ceiling, but nothing nothing out of the ordinary, really. Alright, let's take the bottom option. We might be leading ourselves in a circle. I'm not sure, but if we are, that's still educational, because then I kind of know where stuff leads. So let's take the right path continually. Alright, so we this is a circle. So from now on, let's take the left path and see where that brings us. And also, I should be routinely flipping in every single room because this this may be kind of a red herring where you're, they're like, yeah, go through the maze, but then they just hide something really sneaky, like a button, and, uh, and then that's that. All right, so let's go through here. Uh, make sure to flip. Nothing. That's a... Okay, 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 okay. We have not tried this yet. There are two options here. A. We could use Fleep on that, uh... On that skull. Or B, we could defeat all of the enemies in here, since these are the only enemies that we see. Or that we've seen in this cave. Or besides the, uh... The, the buzzies. If we defeat him... Okay, nothing happens. But if we use Fleep... On the skull... Aha! Oh, yes! Yay! Okay. Uh, so they did pull a thing like that. Also, what happens if I flip the key? Nothing. Okay, so we got a key. And there's a locked door that I remember. Oh, man, that was worth it. Okay, um... Carry. See, if you... Unlike Zelda, if you remember all the tools in your toolbox, you could maybe make something special happen. Whereas in Zelda, <laughs> you're like, oh, man, I got the, 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 the slingshot. And... <laughs> The game's like, cool, we're going to replace this with a strictly better item later, and the slingshot will never be used again. Um, uh, Mario? Flip! Really? Really? Uh, okay, well, we have one buddy left. And I really want to uh, hold him and cherish him until the end of my days. So, to do that? Oh, I just despawned him, didn't I? I totally did. Ah, uh, that's that's disappointing. I wanted to see how far I could make him last. No, I still have him. There is hope yet. Also, that's a pixel over there. Okay, um... 
Can I? I uh, okay. Hopefully he stays on screen. I'm really hoping he stays on screen. Eek! Gabro thought this was a good hiding spot since Key was lost, brah. Uh, nay. He needs a voice. Um. Yes, this is unexpected. But so is a storm of rain, and the fact that I'm just nor using a normal voice for this guy. Such is the way of things. There are no absolutes. But what do we do, brah? Come, come, be at peace. Calm your raging inner sea. Let us meditate on this. You're probably right, brah. Got it. <laughs> Evil bras. You take Gabro. Gabro, give up. But her. Do not hurt, Pixel. But you... No, let Gabro speak, brah. You ke kept Gabro company. You h helped Gabro hide. Gabro owe you big, brah. Big debt for Pixel. Gabro's time ending, but Gabro really want you to live free. Come now, ease your mind. Let us muffle the wails of your frightened soul. Do not be hasty in fear. Look closer. That is not one of the Floral Sapiens. What? Who are you, bros? Could you... You come to save Gabro? Well, I, I guess. This is interesting. Just like Flint Cragley, you've avoided falling under the control of the Floro Sapiens. What? Flint here too? Gabro, huge Cragley fan! Cragley, do something, brah! Cragley, save us all! Well, isn't that welcome news? Why don't you go find Flint? For I must bid you farewell. What? Why? You not come with Gabro? Humans and pixels, or Cragnons and pixels, for that matter, shouldn't linger long together. Only heroes who know how to util utilize the pixels properly can travel with them. Please, heed my words now. It's best for you this way. Oh, Crag. Come now, let me assist you in your departure from here. Let your aura shrink. When it diminishes, you can return to the village where the one you seek awaits. Get, get a seizure from my psychedelic magnificence. Thank you, great K pixel bra. Gabro, not forget you. Aha! <laughs> Wah! <laughs> okay. Farewell, weeping Kragnon. Go frog beneath the sun where you are meant to live. Rain still falls in my heart. The taken souls cry out. Why do they cry such tears? You must stop this torrent. Fate brought us together, great hero of 1500 years. Now you must take me there, to the dark, to the deep, dark underbelly of the earth. And we have, well, I'm really interested to hear her name. The tiny pixel named Dottie has joined your group. Dottie can miniaturize you so you can enter small spaces and avoid being noticed. Cool. Let us go, before the rain of tears becomes a flood. Before disaster breaks. She's cool. Also, now Bowser's huge. And I can still flip. That is awesome. Uh, is there anything over here? No. Okay. So let's just go through the door. And we move. It looks like we just move the same speed. Also, we jump. <laughs> we jump the same uh, same height. We're sticking Atman in here. Atman. Antman in up in here. So let's go through the door. Now that we have Dottie, this will... <laughs> oh my goodness, Bowser's huge! But, uh... Yeah. We can progress now with Dottie, who looks really cool! Oh boy, what happens? Oh wait, no, we won't be noticed. We're good now. We're chill. Okay, jump up there. I'll jump up here. No one has to get hurt. Also, <laughs> this right here... This seems like Bowser's worst nightmare. Suddenly, a doppelganger that's bigger than he has shown up, and it is about to murder everything. Okay, um, and it will take his place, and no one will notice the replacement of Bowser with his 8-bit counterpart. Alright, let's just continue to be small as Bowser. And Actually, why, why are we as Bowser? Let's, let's go to Mario, because he can run faster. Alright, there's, the, uh, there's the card key. A key to the door in the processing center. Okay, so now, do we need to be big for this? Yeah, we do. Please insert card key. Well, we only have one, so there you go. <laughs> With Chase credit, you can buy what you want. 
All right, we have one one last pal here, and we're up to full health. That's that's a bit worrisome. Can't get up there. There are weird lights on the ceiling. Let's just go through here. I feel like we're playing uh, Metal Gear Solid, or actually, actually even better, uh, some subspace emissary because this area feels a lot like it. Okay. Um. How? Well, actually, this is really bad because I feel like uh, I feel like my buddy's going to get killed immediately. So, what we're going to have to do? What they probably intended is for us to turn small and avoid all of these uh, these Kragnons. But I'm just going to flip into 3D as soon as this hit, this switch is hit, because how'd I know it, it was going to do that? Um, let's actually, we know what we're going to do both. We're going to go to Dotty. Flip, and turn small, so no one notices us. And then we're gonna go over here. There's nothing over here. I've been had. Actually, there is. Um, do you see that? Oh boy. Oh no no no! I can take damage. I'm fine with this. Okay, let's just go over here. Ow! Stupid thing. Just continue to progress. I have enough items that I can sustain the damage. I can't see. Let's go up here. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go. No! Just go up here. We already lost our friend. I didn't realize. No! 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 I don't want to level down. Okay, let's do that. At first, <laughs> at first I, I saw that happening, I'm like, oh man, mega style, I can now be the best. But then I realized I'm losing points like crazy. Um, can I still float while small? I can, good. I'm gonna do that so I don't hit the ceiling. I'm just gonna skip all these guys. I had no clue why they, they threw in one random um, Cursia, but it worked. And so now I, I both lost my best friend Bowser, the uh, the other Bowser, the the one I actually have is worthless. I lost him and almost killed a bunch of innocents. Ha ha! At long last, you've come to play like late sleeping toddlers. How did I know it was them? Actually, I don't actually know. Dementio and O chunks. Ah! Do you not tire of collecting those worn out, tiresome pure hearts? I am not violent by nature, you know. I'd prefer to settle this peacefully, in fact. Say, for instance, you wish to go back to your world. I could do that for you. No, thank you very much. We won't sit idly by and watch this world or any other die. Ah ha ha, so it must be. Shall we begin? Really? Another boss battle? Ugh, haven't you learned? No matter how often we fight, it will end the same. My, my, aren't you plucky? Same fight, same outcome. You are precisely correct. And that is why... Wait. Broccoli! <laughs> Lovely green hat, wouldn't you say? What is that? Dear chunk, so strong, yet so very dim. A child could learn his attack patterns. As such, I requested a few sprouts from my acquaintance to liven him up a touch. I call the boy O Cabbage. Don't be shy, O Cabbage. Introduce yourself. Cabbage! <laughs> ah ha ha. Simply adorable. Now remember, kids, eat your vegetables to grow big. Except in this case, a veggie will eat you. Have fun now. Ciao! <laughs> Asparagus! Okay. Uh. You know what? I don't use Peach often enough. Let's do that. Whoa! I forgot he had that attack! Ah, he has that attack! He's insane! No! No! Wait, can I just do this? Bye! You can't hit me! You- you can't. Oh, he can. Okay. I took three damage. Oh, the horror. Uh, but you know what? I don't want to be small! You are, uh, you're a nasty man. You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, let's do two things. First, let's get Barry up in here. And do that, okay. Uh, and then second, let's heal up because this is this is bad. 
Uh, let's do not this. Let's do this. Use up our, our kill mango. And then eat another one. Or eat a, eat a shroom shake. And then, actually, you know what? Let's go to my, my signature Bowser carry thing. <laughs> As I'm about to get hit by, <laughs> by half of a wall. And carry. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just do... No, 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 no. Wow, he's... He actually is really good now. Wow. I gotta give that plant credit. <laughs> can I... Can I please kill him? He is fast now. My goodness. Wow. This is actually really hard. Okay, uh, you know what? You know what? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm done getting beaten up. Because that is what's happening. Let's just down another shroom shake. And then, let's switch to the thing that they suggested in the beginning, and, and, as I was saying, switch to, uh, throw, because throwing him worked when we first fought him. See? Aha! See? There we go. Ow. Grab him again. Throw him. He still has that weakness. And I keep getting hit. And just keep doing it. Even if I get hit... I should be able to, uh, to keep hitting him. Grab him. Throw. Repeat. Rinse. Repeat. Also, I'm, I'm gonna stop styling, actually, because it's it's hurting me. Okay, uh, horsetail. Just so I don't get stuck and die somehow. Okay, throw you. And then, there we go. See, styling was actually hurting me here. So, as soon as I stopped styling, I stopped getting hit. Even though I'm pretty sure I've taken, like, 40 damage by this point. Okay, grab him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He is definitely powered up. I'm just chugging all the items I got in the past two chapters. Okay. Do that. He's gonna get hit. He is so fast. <laughs> Please. Let's grab him again. Throw him against a wall because that's a little bit better. Got him. And also, let's use my Mighty Tom, Tom, Tonic. Shake it up and down. I can do that. Why is it not working? Got it, sort of. And when it said up and down, it meant side to side because, because it asks us to hold it side to side. Miss. Grab him. Throw him. Deal 10 damage. I styled again because I forgot. Grab him again. Got him. Finally. Wow, that was actually... That's probably the hardest boss fight we've had thus far. Buh, buh. Buh, broccoli. Urgh. Hey, what in Gravy and I doing here? Huh? And what are you doing here as well? Oh, I get the picture. You want to challenge the new and improved O-Chunks. You got pepper in your pants, I'll give you that. But this time, you'll, you will get ruined. Whoa. Me belly's growling like a starving dog. Warrior rule number one. Never fight on an empty stomach. This madness. Sorry, but we got to call it a day. Don't go bucking the warrior rules. Next time, though, you're done. Chunks away. Oh, okay. Look, sprout from his head. It's the same as the same one as on the glorified Kragnons. Or did she? I, she didn't say glorified, did she? <laughs> I totally misread that. It looks like it's nearly dead, however. Floral sprout. Ch oh, chunks drop the sprout. What happens if you wear it? Well, what do you think? Would you care to put it on? I believe you'll you'll be safe. <laughs> I'm no veggie. Uh, you know what? I'll wear it. Cool. I have a new hat. <laughs> you didn't turn into cabbage. That's nice, I guess. This could come in handy. I know exactly... I know exactly where to keep this. Also, it says to put this on or take it off. Does that mean we can do the same for the, uh... The thing? The, 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 the fishbowl? I hope so. Hmm, if they could beat that model, though, Chunks, then they are coming along quite nicely. Perhaps they really are the ones I have waited for all this time. Ha ha ha. I should prepare myself as well. 
so much to do, so little, so precious little time. Man, he's he's scheming. He's up to something. So he, here I have a question. I can't put that on, but I can put this on. Hopefully I'll get to keep that because I'll happily wear it for the rest of the Let's Play. Like that that would be my dream come true. Okay, so now we have to go to that place where they're scanning, right? Oh boy. Um I took a wrong turn, didn't I? I definitely did. Uh let's go back. Uh not have to deal with those uh all those people. Where am I going? I don't remember. Uh through that No, we went through the door. The door is yeah, because we scanned a key card. I don't actually I don't actually have any recollection of anything I've done in the past 20 minutes. Speaking of 20 minutes, this episode is, is getting uh, pretty long, but I feel like we're near the end. Uh, this was the pipe, right? Maybe? Well, let's see. I believe this was the pipe, and then we go up here? And over... Yeah, 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 this was it, this was it, because there's another <laughs> scientific door that we need to go through. And then just go walk through, through right through here and get a free pass? Yeah, we did. And the sprout's still on her head. I dearly hope that it stays. Oh, hello. There are a lot of things here. Uh, can we read these? King Crocus the first, reign one through 496. The first king of the Floral Kingdom, Crocus the first is known as the greatest of kings. He united the Floral Sapiens under a single cause, creating the Flora Kingdom. He created a capital here and established a calendar, begun at the kingdom's birth. Heavily armored, he bore the deadly thorns and came to be called the Iron Rose. The kingdom's infrastructure and early roads were built by Crocus the first design. But when his, his successor, the prince, wilted unexpectedly, so did the cr first Crocus's spirit. The floral year 444 marked the end, the start of his reign of fear, the darkening. Eventually, Crocus I and his foul regime were overthrown in a sappy coup d'etat. The king was struck down, marking the official end of the darkening. Uh, his wilting words were said to be, The Iron Rose shan't wither, but wither he did. Okay, wh <laughs> whether he did or not is up, w was determined by history, because history is written by the victors. Queen Crocus the second, that the years. She was the daughter of the first. She was imprisoned for being a uh, part of his policies. But then when he was overthrown, she was freed and given the throne. Her efforts to reduce taxes and study diseases made her very popular. Eventually, she helped erase the scars the darkening had left. She also, also compiled a Flora Sapiens prehistory called the Flictionarian. The, her bo the book was her key legacy, a historic mark of her benevolent influence. Uh, she feared the fight for the throne. She feared the fight for the throne that might ensue if she bore many heirs. She had but one heir late in her life. This earned her the name the White Maiden. Okay, uh, let's continue on. Hello, there's a black cat there. Jump! Nope, I didn't mean to kill you. Also, they don't care. Okay, whatever. I, I won't harm you. I'll, I'll try not to harm you. Unless you get in my way. The third, um, let's see, he was just one when his mother wilted. Uh, he became the youngest king ever. The young king had a great prediction and talent for poetry, or <laughs> predilection and talent for poetry and art. His talent was evident in the works like what, The Ice Rose, a book of poems from his 37th year. But he was also afflicted by a terrible disease from the time he was born. Without ever impacting the affairs of his kingdom, he wilted at age 88. The cause of his wilting was never made public. Many su suspected a conspiracy. This was never confirmed. Okay, so there's actually some substantial lore being written for this. The fourth, he is actually the present day ruler. Formerly a regent for King Crocus III, he ruled in, in place of the frail child king. After the third wilted, his service was recognized and he was made king. His stabilizing influence and political savvy made him popular and well known. His recent achievements include, in Flora year 1625, he invented a method for mind controlling Kragnons. In Flora year 1626, he spearheaded an initiative to enslave Kragnons en masse. 
And those are things to be proud of, I guess. Got it. Now what are we supposed to do here? Do here? I don't want to have to kill all these things. Um, I feel strongly that we should be using Fleep here. I don't know why. I don't really know why I have this, this inkling, but we're going to try it. Okay, nothing on that one. Also, now they're attacking me. I don't know why they... Is it because I used Fleep? Here, let's try it again. No, I don't. I have no clue why they attacked me then and they weren't earlier. Okay, let's try it on him. Nothing. What about the cat? Nothing. There are a bunch of crowns and jewels everywhere. And nothing on that. Interesting. And this is, this is a dead end. Like, it has to be, the solution has to be in this room. So, what is, okay, you know what? I'm, or I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna kill everything in this room. I'm sorry, but this is kind of a raid. I did kill everyone else, so I might as well <laughs> treat everyone equally. Did that work? Yes? No? Maybe? No. Odd. Um. You know what? Oh, I know why they didn't attack me. Oh, I do. Okay. I know. I know exactly why. It's because I'm wearing this. Take it off. Right? No? No. Maybe they have to recognize me. Okay, this is very convoluted. And also, why am I not using carry? So let, let's flip, or not flip, let's leave the room, come back without the thing on, and then they'll probably be like, how'd you get in here? And then I'll probably spawn or uh, initiate a cutscene. Okay, let's let's try this. Okay, take two. Sorry I killed your, your predecessors, guys. They're not here. Really? Really? Did I just ruin my chances? Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I didn't get anything in here. This isn't a, just a secret. This is the only way to go. Wait a minute. Oh, look, look, look. There are cracks on the floor. I got it. Uh, Boomer. Th this is the answer right here. There were cracks on the floor, so I just need to blow it up. Maybe? I mean, that's... Feels like it's the answer. I'll gladly take a damage. There it is. Jump through here. Take a damage. Get. Get full health back. And hit the switch. I said. Hit. This. Switch. I killed a guy again. Okay, so. I hit that. So what does that do? Are you supposed to match up the colors? If so, this one is white. Let's. Let's try hitting. It again what does it do black white okay so let's make it match uh, match the colors of each of these each of these people but this one's called the white uh, this one's black actually yeah this is the only one that could have fit black so let's let's make it black okay it's no 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 hit it again and hit it again okay so now it's black and then we'll go over to this one. This one is... I mean, she was called the White Maiden for a reason, so... Blow up, please. So, but this one's already blue. But there's a red one. There is a, there is a red one, so... Let's just try blowing this up. Just in the off chance that it works. Does it do it? It does. Okay, so we're just supposed to assume that it would it would blow up. There's a save block, and our job is to make this red. There it is. Done. Okay. Once again, I I say once again is my transition, but uh, this is a very long episode. I think I don't actually have a timer because once again these are episode based, and I've talked about that before. Um, so, I have no clue how long the episode is. Hopefully, there's an end of level soon. ooh wee ooh Where, oh, where are my pretties? Uh... Pretties, beautiful things. ooh wee bring them to me. More, more, more. 
Uh, ooh, what is this hideous clashing thing? Um, are you King Crocus? Ooh, you, so you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashening of my beautiful kingdom. No, you. Thus you are warned. King Crocus, you must release the Kragnons you've enslaved. Never. Their sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig up more gems so I can build a bejeweled palace. Ooh wee! Why, how positively horrid. Release them this instant. Pharaoh, set, let my people go. Trash is garbage. No matter how you dress it, this world is made for beauty. And if you need some proof, then have a look at this. Oh, well, the, the gloves are off now. We're going to have to kill you for that. It's the pure heart. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly. So you, you can barely think, hmm? It seems we all seek beauty. How dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you. We're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears, and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. I'll happily destroy you, because you are... Uh... <laughs> Let's just say... You're... Ugly. <laughs> okay. Also, I said, let's just say as if saying you're ugly is better than what I was going to say, which was going to be, you're ugly. <laughs> Ooh, you, here I come. You know what? I rarely stoop to such levels, even though I do it all the time. But, uh, I'm gonna burn you. I'm gonna burn you like you deserve to be burned. Burn! I'm riding it. That's cool. That didn't work. Um... You know what? What? What's your name? Tippy. That's King Crocus. He leads the Floral Sapiens and loves beautiful things. HP is 50 and attack is 2. He attacks with his head like other Floral Sapiens. I don't think you can damage him when his face is closed off like that. Using throw to grab stuff, then jumping onto him works pretty well, though. Okay, so that seems like an answer. Uh, throw, get in here. Let's ride him. Cool. No. Got him. Okay, his attack is 50, right? Oh, I can throw I can throw his heads at him. Come here, my foul friend! Get wrecked! Get the wrecked! No no no. Grab. Grab him. Grab him. <laughs> this is so sluggish. No. So sluggish. Get over here. Um, okay, I'm riding this. I can always jump on him, too. There, I got... I didn't get one. I got one. Good, good, good. Throw it. That did not work. Um, you know what? My strategy of just standing on top of it is better. And then I can just burn it. Actually, yeah, this this works really well. It Sort of. Burn. Got him. That worked. Okay. Uh, into phase two of the battle. But while he's doing that, let's heal. I don't want to heal. Um, yeah, you know what? No, I, I'm content. I don't want to use my thing. Uh, can I use throw? No! Uh, Mario, 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 Mario! Get in here! Um, switch back to... Actually, you know what? You know what? Peach would be really useful here because I can just hold down if I'm ever in trouble and avoid all damage. Like so. And then when he opens up, I can jump on him. Go down. Nice. If he opens up close to the ground, I can get him. Like. Not like that. Not like that. I don't want to accidentally go through the door as well. Okay. Just open up. Got him. And now I'm just floating around. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Kind of a little dance around here. Ah, I got hit. Crouch. Okay. I'm good. He's open. Got him. Crouch. Run. Okay, okay. Just kind of bobbing and weaving here. As as uh, ineffective as it seems to be at this point. But I'm still getting some damage in on him. Crouch. Okay. Good, I got him. I, I found that styling is actually a bad idea because then uh, I'm in the air longer. 
getting hit. Nice. Okay. Just avoid that. Jump on him again. And he's done. Wow. That went a little bit better than I thought. And he's dead. And that face was totally worth it. Beautiful. Even as I wilt, I am... I am... Beautiful! K -K King Crocus! Wait, whoa! What did you guys do, huh? We have defeated your king. Now, release the Kragnons! Hey, shut up! You don't get it at all! King Crocus was awesome! He totally thought of his people first, man! And you... You wilted him! What? What are you talking about? Water, man. I'm talking about water. The Kragnons were polluting our water. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river, and we had to drink that crud. That dirty water was was what drove our king bonkers. Don't you get it? So, then... Oh. Of course, I knew it all along. Or, sorry. Of course, I knew it all along. Craggly ho Emergency special report from the floral front lines. Environmental pollution drives floral sapiens mad. Whither will they... <laughs> Whither will they rampage? So, the villagers throwing garbage into the river was the reason for this whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This'll play... <laughs> This'll play well with the green Kragnon crowd. <laughs> Rating, uh, ratings explode, brah! It's like Crags on Ice meets Baron Von Kragington. Yes, once my fellow villagers realize this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure, you know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water, and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' noggins, too, man. Sound, sounds like a fine way to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was a rather unexpected turn. Wailing on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. Besides the fact that you just killed our ruler, the last of his line of, of kings. One of our earliest kings received this to safeguard until the hero's arrival. Our people have kept that promise for like 1,500 years or something crazy like that. I'm sure our wilted king here would be stoked after that his duty got done. Even though he's kind of dead. <laughs> Alright, we got a, a pure heart after a very, very long episode, it seems. I, I need to start carrying my timer along with me again, because it seems important. But that is the end of chapter, because we got a pure heart! End of chapter! Men of true grit witness live what others can only see through crack vision. That is what moves me to travel into the belly of the beast week after week. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Craggly Ho! Having wrapped their latest shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Crag. Mar I skipped text, I think. Mario and friends clutched the sixth pure heart as they walked back toward Flipside, even though they could just use the pipe that they got in, like, the second episode. Our heroes had taken a new step towards order overturning the prophecy of destruction. Do you want to save your progress? You bet I will. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. It really helps me out. If you enjoy, or uh, if you didn't like it for whatever reason, then please make a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Because those ratings would really help me out so I can appeal to all the folks. I release new episodes of Cragly Co. Crag Totter Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays. Saturdays are periodically long episodes. And I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays. Super Paper Mario. Goodbye.